I found some great articles using ProQuest that I'm now going to add to my reference list. Now, ProQuest's new look and the second edition of APA make referencing from ProQuest much easier. There are a couple of variations and I'm going to show you both of them now. I've clicked on site and when it finally settles down, yes, here it is, I can see everything's there that I need. Uh, so we're going to use this pretty much as it is. Uh, it's got retrieved from and it's used a document URL there. That's exactly what I need. So we'll paste that one over onto my reference list. There it is, looking great so far. Okay, let's go back to our uh, list of results and it's the very next one that I've used as my second article. Here it is. So I'm going to cite this. Now this one has the, um, the variation that we need to tweak. Yes, and this is the part that doesn't work for North Tech. This is the document uh, DOI. But anyway, let's tweak the whole, take the whole thing over and uh, tweak it in our reference list. So I'm pasting that there. And yes, let's get rid of the DOI here. Now I'm going to replace it with the document URL. And I'll find that back at um, the document. So I'm going to close that window, finish with that. And what I'm looking for is the document URL. It's not the part that's at the top of the screen. We're going to find it under citation and abstract. So if we scroll down to the end here, now here's all the useful subject headings, but we're looking at the moment for this, the document URL. So I'll just copy and paste this one onto our, onto our reference list. Need, oh, need to do a couple of tweaks here. Need to add retrieved from, and we need to indent it all. So here we are. If I do Control T to tab that, that's looking just right. 